It's a packed house in Toms River, New Jersey tonight for high school basketball on ESPN. Star-studded Sierra Canyon, led by Zaire Williams, heads east to take on Gil St. Bernard's in this Friday night showcase. Good evening and welcome alongside ESPN National Recruiting Director Paul Biancardi. I'm Joe Torty. Paul Sierra Canyon brings loads of talent to the table, including the first two McDonald's All-Americans in school history. Zaire Williams, the recipient of those dunks, one of the top unsigned seniors in the country. He brings it at the rim. He also has a beautiful jump shot as a combo forward. Number seven in the ESPN 100 and unsigned. He also in the frame, helped out by the other McDonald's All-American, B.J. Boston. We saw him play last year at Norcross, comes here to Sierra Canyon, and the Kentucky commit has been really, really good on the West Coast. B.J. Boston has been fabulous all season long for the Trailblazers. Scoring, facilitating, and he gets a lot of deflections with his length. He is an impact player when he gets to Kentucky. Sierra Canyon, 14th ranked in the country, 23 and 3. And all of the star power on this roster, we highlighted those two, B.J. Boston and Zaire Williams. But Paul, ask anybody, those are by far not the two most famous last names on this roster. Now there's a couple of other players in this roster, Zaire Wade and Bronny James. They create the hype. B.J. Boston, Zaire Williams, and Amari Bailey, five-star players. They do the bulk of the scoring. They're squaring off against the Gil St. Bernard's Knights, led by a couple of D1 commits, including big man Zach Martini, who's headed to Princeton. And you can see right inside Mergen Cena in his 15th season, his huddle, trying to get the Knights ready to go against this powerhouse in Sierra Canyon. You said it, 15th season for Mergen Cena. Th this team, Gil St. Bernard, they're not going to back down. They may not win the game but they're going to play hard the whole game. They're not going to be unfazed, if you will, by Sierra Canyon. Huddling with their coaching staff before the game. The game plan seems to be to try to spread Sierra Canyon out. They've got some shooters on this roster. I'll we'll see if they can kind of neutralize some of the length of the Trailblazers. And that's the part, Joe, that's really steps in for Sierra Canyon, the length of their team and the size in the middle with Harold Yu, 11 in the blue. 7-3, they got length, they got size, they got athletes, and they are talented. That's in spades, that's for sure. William Susie with the ball, North Alabama commit for Gil St. Bernard. And Ranglin for three. And it'll go down to Sierra Canyon of this caliber. Well, wherever Sierra Canyon goes, the hype follows, and it is hype right now at the Metro Classic. Absolutely jam-packed house here. Minute in, no score, and you see the starting lineup for the Knights. Paul, you look at a team like Sierra Canyon and all of the hype, all of the attention, you know that that's going to follow these guys to the next level as well. They're getting a taste of it early. Here's Boston in transition. B.J. Boston opens the score with an exclamation mark. Well, B.J. Boston has been doing this all season long. Sierra Canyon does a great job of going from defense to offense. And B.J. Boston loves to get out ahead of the pack. Long, athletic. That's an easy one for B.J. Gets a little bit better. It's kind of up to them whether they reach their potential. Well, they got the bullseye every game. Sierra Canyon. So Coach Chevalier has to get them ready mentally because they're going to take the best shot from everybody. Susi, a contested layup, evens the game at two. This is Williams trying to answer. Looking for the lead. Now here's Bailey. Boston, Williams! Sierra Canyon gets on the glass. They got athletes. And how about the push by Bailey, the extra give up by Boston? Outstanding. And that was my point about B.J. Boss. A lot of guys would have took that ball from Bailey, tried to score it themselves. He saw the open man delivered the dime. And that's always the question on a team that's got this much talent. How well are they going to share? 
You stuffs it in. Sierra Canyon cheers as well as anybody. There's your answer. <laughs> I mean, he's 7-3, Harold You. He's got some Pac-12 offers, and he's getting better all the time. Top and top, Martini missed well long. See, Sierra Canyon, they try to speed you up so they can play at a fast pace. You inside. Too much on that hook. This is Bailey running the show, number five on the ESPN 25. Sophomores at the reins of this Sierra Canyon offense. You showing some range as well. Well, the back to the basket game is where he started. Just drop offs and dump downs. Now he's showing a little face off. Martini again, and this time sees it go in. That's what he brings to the floor, Zach Martini, the ability to stretch out the defense. Williams takes a tumble. Here comes Gilsing Bernards. Susie in for the score. Just like that, it's a five point game. Boston with range. And the follow up and in for Frank. A coach like Jamie Dixon at TCU values that offensive rebounding a lot. Frank's going to fit right in. And Terrence Frank brings a lot to the game. He impacts without scoring. All the way in, challenging you, and that bothered the shot of Susie. Bailey, the lob. Williams, the flush. And sometimes it's as simple as just reversing the ball or defending the ball. Doesn't have to make the big play. No answer from the Knights. Rebound by Martini, and he puts it in. In all of high school basketball. It's a different level, so you got to match the intensity and still play with IQ. Anglin rattles in the three. Two-year starter at point guard, trying to fill it up from the outside. Shy Odom hangs. And it'll stay here. It's knocked out of bounds off of Mac of Waka, an impressive, impressive freshman for GSB. Boston, corner triple. With no help in sight, Harold Yu just has to catch it, stop, and then go up. Challenging the big fella, and you responds there. That's like running into a brick wall. I mean, Harold Yu, 7'3", 260 plus pounds, and he went straight up with his hands up. Challenged that shot as well just by being there. And Bailey with the rebound. And James on his wing, but he'll take it himself. Williams, whoa! Wonder if there's anything Williams can't do. Here's Martini the other way. He answers with a triple. Looking at Zaire Williams, who does he remind you of at the next level? Who could he project to be at his best? You know, both he and BJ Boston remind me of, of certain players. BJ reminds me of Brandon Ingram. Zaire Williams, a little bit of Jonathan Isaac. Long, thin, and skilled. He had a long, successful career at Florida State. It's Terrence Frank. Hopefully, do the same next year at TCU. Another challenge into the lane, but you bothering that shot. Here's Bronny James. James to the rim. And he's been hurt. You know, he he was out for a while with a high ankle sprain. I think he's just getting his timing back right now. Martini, that's a good take in on Boston. Yeah, Martini's a tough kid. He'll he'll drive you hard, or he'll stretch you up with the three ball. Nice pass. Can't leave him open. Nearly tracked his own board. Williams, good vision. And one for Frank. Brings in Namari Burnett, the highest ranked prospect to Lubbock. Nice inbounds play and finds Susie wide open. That was a great inbounds play. It was spacing, screening, and cutting. And of course, the other one we saw on that list, Oklahoma State happy to land Cade Cunningham from Montverde. How about ecstatic? Yeah. They also have another good player coming in, Rondell Walker from Oklahoma. Top 100 prospect, 6'6", 6'5", shooting guard. 
Boston gets free. How do you lose that guy? No pressure on the basketball. If you're gonna, it doesn't matter if you play zone or man, you gotta pressure the ball. And you have to know by scouting that Sierra Canyon's gonna try to beat you with the law. Not the three-point shot. Martini spins in and hits. Now Susi in trouble. I think B.J. Boston can be a really good defender at Kentucky when he gets stronger. Triple drilled by Mac Ablanco, picked up a Rutgers offer in December. You can see why these Scarlet Knights are sniffing around. Tough take, great defense as well. Triple from Martini. Tough shot, but Harold and you coming at you, 7-3. Offensive foul. Look. Williams will remain in the game. Bronny James in as well. And that one was a wiggle loose by Denver England. England with a nice, soft, high arcing layup off the glass. Williams bangs that one in and silences the crowd. I'll tell you what, Bronny James not only made the pass, but made a pass fake to get the defender out on him, and he found his teammate. Susi in trouble. James gets it up for Bailey. Dangerous three-point shot. Yeah, if you're game planning for Zaire Williams, it's almost the same game plan as trying to attack B.J. Boston. The problem is they're both out there on the floor at the same time. And they both can stroke it with length. Nice inside find. And Drew Kenya able to get on the board. Once again, inside single digits. The Knights just got to keep their hands up, protect the rim, double down. Can't give them that. Tough to defend when he's that deep. You can't let you turn. Once he turns, he's going to score. Kick ball. If he's going to turn, he's got to turn with a double team. Williams only getting a quick breather as he's back into the game. You will take a seat. Ronnie James there defending the ball. Here's a takeaway by Boston. The rest is two points. He could be a fabulous defender off the ball. Has all the tools. He has great instincts and length and wingspan. That, that's a pretty good recipe right there. And he's starting to get the want to. James, the reverse. It's Gil St. Bernard's to begin things here in the second half. Paul Biancardi, Joe Torty here with you. The first of two games in two days that Sierra Canyon will play to take on Long Island Lutheran, what should be an awesome game tomorrow. That's going to be a big time battle. Long Island Lutheran against Sierra Canyon with a 6'9, 6'10 wingspan and shoot over a lot of guys. What's been the biggest area of growth as you've seen him since he started versus where he is now? I, I would say his defensive deflections. He's gotten a lot of deflections every game. And those deflections have led to steals and points. He's always been an underrated playmaker. Zion Williams. Nice pass by you. And Frank able to still keep it alive. But now it'll go down to Gil St. Bernard. Susie into the lane. From the neck up. That's a hard thing to do. It, it happens over the course of time in your career. Williams on the attack gets it blocked. Great block up. Anglin gives it up. Abwaku. And another offensive rebound. Still no hit. Williams gets knocked on the rebound. A lot of talent. Speaking of that, Frank almost with the steal. Nice find. Hester Toku for three. You out dueled for the rebound. You see teams like Kentucky and Carolina, they're going for that older one and done guy, that fifth year graduate. Oh, nice pass. How about that? Susie. 
And a great touch pass from Denver Anglin. Speaking of the Ivy League, Anglin with offers from Brown and Columbia. Watch this pass. It's a give and go. Beautiful execution. He's smart enough to go outside and, and a little bit more and shoot it. Nice. Caught him sleeping, B.J. Boston, and a great look from Bailey. I'll tell you what, Bailey plays the point guard for this team, and he, he did so early in the year, especially when Zaire Wade was out. He's done a phenomenal job at finding his teammates, especially against his own. That was exhibit A right there for Sierra Canyon. Now it's Anglin for three. And Bailey with the rebound. Good vision, but got it deflected. Oh, great play by Zaire Williams. Great play. Finds Bailey. Corner three. Bang by Frank. Good ball movement there by Sierra Canyon. Susie. Working his way in on Boston. This is Anglin again. Rattles around and in. Lead cut to 12 once again. Williams almost made it 15. Frank Bailey bouncing basketball to Boston. These guys are playing intense. 14 point lead, Sierra Canyon. Here's a takeaway by Bailey. Nice take. You see the way Bailey just sized up the defender, put on a little bit more juice as he got into the paint. He's got a burst and a half. Amari Bailey's got great speed and explosion. I've enjoyed watching his development over the last two years. I mean, he's really went from a talented freshman to a player. We watch his on-ball defense just suffocating there on the opposing point guard. Susie trying to work around Bronny James and one. Susie feeling pretty good about that one to pull them back within 14. They're playing against some one and done guys. Yeah, I'm not doubtful of that at all. This might be one, BJ Boston. Blows by Boston too quick. They, they had to switch off the screen. Martini couldn't stay with them. Boston with the pursuit to the right hand found the space. Beautiful layup. Martini and Gil St. Burns need a bucket to keep touch. Just rattles out there. Here's the transition game. Odom up top. Susie has it ripped. 2 on 0. Bailey! He's in a high level game as a young player. Unforced turnover there. Susie with Boston on him. Anglin lets it fly and hits. And they look like they're ready to shoot it. It's just hitting that back rim and bouncing out. Bailey slices all the way in. He's got great skill. His passes are quick and sharp. On the money. Oh! Look out below Amari Bailey. Coming through. And an answer. No question about it. Off the dribble, the elevator. Oh! And then down. Takes off like a jet at Newark Airport. Look at this. Wow. He looks like he's on the runway. Yeah, cleared for takeoff. Yeah, just past 10,000 feet. <laughs> In transition, a chase down block by Zaire Wade. Bronny James gives it up. Williams a three. It's easy to let up when you have a big lead. Martini, still nothing going. They've been well schooled to play this game right to the end. James, how about that? One dribble pull up. Young athletes, when you have a lead, you can't rest, you can't relax. You gotta raise the score. Speaking of raising, Zed Key 
big six, eight strong inside presence headed to Ohio State. <laughs> I'm sure that was your favorite part of the game too. Was that was my only part of the game. <laughs> nice take in. Long Island Lutheran. They're going to show up, but I'll tell you what, Zaire Williams, B.J. Boston, Amari Bailey, they got Sierra Kenyon off and running tonight. They were sensational. Fantastic performance by the Trailblazers for Paul B. and Cardi. This is Joe Torty saying so long. Thanks for joining us as Sierra Canyon dominates Gil St. Bernard's. And we'll see you tomorrow night right here in Tom's River on ESPN.